So this might be on the theatrical version of Batman v Superman. So anyway, the movie opens up with Superman saving Lois Lane's skin again. And I know I don't I'm busy. Sorry about that, Mr. Superman. Anyway, so the public is having this conversation is what should Superman use his powers and what should he do with them. And the world has been so, so focused on what Superman can do and this crippled guy who works for, for Wayne Enterprises gets arrested by Spray painting, false god, and Superman statue. And Superman somehow feels, feels somehow this is his fault. And um, so the public sees some public, some of the public sees Superman as this Jesus figure, and some sees him of this guy just trying to do the right thing and that's what Superman is. He's just like some guy trying to do the right thing. And it's the public doesn't the movie and also doesn't see Superman as this Jesus figure as much as this movie has been hyped up. So if you're looking for some kind of religious movie, you're kind of out of luck. Yeah, um, so, but anyway, um, meanwhile, Lex Luthor is experimenting on this Kryptonian corpse, and, and, uh, if, and, uh, with this rock, and it's not called this, and it'll be a kryptonite. To, uh, as a, just in case, to kill Superman, and he wants to make the thing, uh, government approve, but the senator turns him down, and doesn't find it's the right thing to do. Because I think she actually believed that Superman is there for the right to do the right thing to protect people and to and to do the right thing no matter what it takes and she seemed happy when Zoom and actually came to the room but not surprised because I think she really believes in Superman and thinks that uh, she, that he's there to be a hero, not as this terrorist or act of God. But anyway, Batman sees Superman as a threat, a threat that needs to be eliminated. And so he wants to steal this, this, the kryptonite from Let's Corp. And He runs into Clark Kent at a pint because the reason why he goes as Bruce Wayne because Batman interrogated six guys and got nothing and on top of it he branded one of them. <laughs> so Alfred points out how last time how you were Batman you basically got nothing accomplished so this time go as Bruce Wayne. It's less destructive. And, and plus, Bruce Wayne's invited to the party. And he meets into, he runs into Clark Kent, and they talk to their beliefs in Superman. And he says, maybe this is Gotham, he has a bad history with clowns, uh, with clowns, uh, dressed up as freaks. 
Chris, no freaks dress up as clown, and and he asks like uh, do I do uh, Dave Plan? Do I own this one? Uh, and and uh, he says, and he wants him to tell him about the back visual. Yeah, he has been pursuing Justin as Gotham, and um. Bruce, Bruce Wayne makes a point that it's a little hypocritical to say, to talk about the bad fish land when your guy in Metropolis is saying being kitties, wouldn't you say so? <laughs> and if you want to, you could burn the whole, pl the whole planet down. <laughs> and, and he's, and, um, Clock says most of the world doesn't share your opinion of Bruce Wayne. And Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor breaks up the pie and he says, Clock Kent and Bruce Wayne. I love bringing to being like that. And, and he, he shakes both of the hand and, and Sume gets, has a really good grip on it. He says, wow, that's a, you should not pick a fight with this guy. That's an excellent grip. Um, um, so, and at the pie, um, Wonder Woman steals, it's this mysterious world related to be revealed Wonder Woman, and I can kind of tell it was one Woman when it's kind of obvious, but plus it, the troll gave it away, so. Anyway, uh, she steals this flash drive that uh, Bruce was using to gather information from Let's Corp. And Superman sees trouble on TV and he suits up and saves those people from the build burning building. And I'll also say that also Superman doesn't save anyone, which is kind of bullshit because he just saved a kid from a burning building and he saved a ship that was in that was stuck on ice I'm sorry but how's that not saving people um and meanwhile Batman has this uh vision of a uh, apocalyptic future where Superman's a bad guy and these army of of SWAT team have the Superman logo on them and Batman gets caught and gets betrayed by his comrades to the people that will fight along him and some of the ones that didn't betray them get, gets shot down and he tries saving them while kicking ass and gets uh, captured by dark sized minions, which I see says a uh, possibility future, but uh, which I saw that originally saw this as a possibility future. But this really was going to be the future of the Justice League uh, when they were going to make the third film. I don't know what that future is right now, but it could be this future where, and I think in this vision, dark side is brainwashing Superman. What she can totally do. And Batman must have done something to let Lois Lane die. And Darkseid Lane must have some fun way to find a way to blame it on Batman. And that's what put him over the edge. And so Bruce Wayne wakes up and meets Barry Allen, the Flash, the future fl uh, fl from the apocalypse future, and says, Lois is the key. You're right. You're always right around. You should be afraid of him. So, and this, uh, Lex Luthor says how he tricked Batman and Superman to get them to fight. And he left some little red notes 
and saying, you let your family die. And it was, didn't took that much to put him over the edge because it was building up for seven years. <laughs> for Batman's sanity to crack. Which was... Uh, which is a reasonable amount of time. Now, a lot of people forget, don't mention this about the movie that uh, uh, that took seven years, building up seven years for Batman standing to crack. <laughs> and also in the beginning of the film, we see what damage Zod's and Suman's fight is doing to Gotham City, and we see it from Batman's point of view, and it's really horrifying. And you can kind of understand why Bat, uh, what took, why it was just so. It, it, after some of the stuff that what Batman's been through, you can kind of see why he snapped. And we see this like busted Robin costume, and the Joker spray painted. Honest saying the joke's on you, Batman, man. So this is kind of a nod to when the Joker and it killed Robin. And I'm guessing it is canon. Um, it seems like it's canon, but it's question was which Robin was it? Now, I, from... My knowledge says one, two, three, four, five. Five Robins. One's a female and one's the original Robin and one's called Tim Drake and Jason Todd and there's another one that's Demian Wayne. And yes, that is Bruce Wayne's biological son. So we never find out which Robin is, but we guess that we got we got a pretty good uh, idea that <laughs> Robin might have gotten killed by the Joker. Uh, so anyway, Batman and Superman fight, and it's kind of a tie. And Batman uses all of his gadgets when uh. He's all suited up in this iron bat suit. And both of them get pretty good kick the shit out of each other. They both kick each other the shit out of each other really good. And um Lowe's Lane breaks of the breaks of the fight by uh by saying that Martha and South South Bruce from killing soups, and by saying that Martha is is is, is Superman's mom, and Lex Luthor kin Lex Luthor's henchman kidnapped her and told uh, not to tell him, so. He says, "Ah, if you kill me, monster dies. And but, and if you fight back, monster lives." Because he was like just turning all red eyes and saying, "Where is she?" And <laughs> you can tell that, that that kind of hit a nerve with Superman. <laughs> that was. Yeah, uh, and um, and anyway, so the con the fact that coincidentally is is mm, makes sense that they're both um, their names are both. Martha, and it makes sense that Batman would kind of help her. It makes sense the way they did this because 
Batman isn't in a right state of mindset. Although Superman is, and he finds it kind of weird that, uh, but just goes along with it, that Batman would want to help him and save his mother. So, he does that and <laughs> he, um, brutally kicks the people's ass, the bad guy's asses, and shoots the guy's flame flower, and it blows up and saves Martha, and says, I'm a friend of your son, and she figures the cape. <laughs> um, so, they all, they both team up and, and Lex was surprised that they worked together. Well, if Batman won't kill you, uh, I guess someone who will. So, we see Doomsday and <clears throat> Wonder Woman comes to save Batman's skin and Superman comes back after looks like that, uh, bit of a cop out that Suman died and by saving everyone by trying to kill Doomsday. And <clears throat> so all three of them team up and take on Doomsday while Lois goes to get the Kryptonite spear because that's the only thing that can kill it. Batman figured that out. Because he's smart like that. Uh, because the spear is made out of pure kryptonite. Actually, my bag, it is actually called kryptonite in this movie. But Batman gives it the name. Which is... <coughs> I respect Lex Luthor to give it the name, but... Uh, um... So, anyway, Superman saves both from drowning and takes the kryptonite spear and stabs it, stabs Superman with the kryptonite spear. Then Superman gets stabbed with one of, with one of Doomsday's rock spikes that grown right out of Doomsday. And Suman dies, and they have a funeral for Suman and Clark. And um, Lexus is now in prison, and he saw a Steppenwolf, who's the villain of Justice League. So. He knows that something big is coming and tells Batman that the uh, that there's more like Superman people are coming. <laughs> and um Superman decides to make a promise that to make up for Superman to for Clark um he asks Diane to find more like more others like her because she she got the feeling something is coming and the little thing drops the rings on Superman's coffin and dirt rises from Superman's coffin and it ends like that. Hey, 19 minutes. <laughs>